What's up, everybody? We're back. We're back. After a long hiatus. It's been crazy. Non-stop work. Kenny Swamp. I'm Swamp. But we finally made it back for you guys. It's been about two and a half months since we put out a video. We apologize for that. But we're back on it. And we're going to catch the tanks today. We are headed down to Greenville. A lot of local people out here know about Coffee Lake. But yeah, we're back out here. We're, we're headed to Coffee Lake. We're going to put the old slime cat rod right there to the test. Look at all that. We got six beautiful brand new Bass Buster combos in the back. And we're going to get out there. And we're going to try to capitalize on some good old Larry's. Welcome back to the Hump of Larry Hawkins, baby. And stay tuned. It's game time. Yeah. Larry better look out. That's right. Sheesh. Yeah, buddy. Old Indian Grove Campground. Y'all know this spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Check it out. The old cat tubes. These are made by a guy in Hillsboro. They got the classic single hook. Which if you're a channel cat fisherman, you know every bit. Them uh, treble hooks on the bottom of your good old dip bait worms are brutal for getting swallowed by channel cat. Guys, they got the classic photo albums here in the bait shop. And it was Rod Reel. Most guys don't dug it, he got it on Rod You own the place? Yeah. What's your name, sir? Joe. Joe? Yeah. I'm Zach. Pleasure to meet you, Joe. Meet you. He's the owner here. But no, the plant shut down like four years ago. Yeah. And I hadn't seen the flathead since. And then this guy popped up with this one that was enormous. So good. since the plant shut down, no big flathead's been caught. No, nope. I was you showing off one that the camper here caught. Look a blue. Flathead. Blue? This is the blue that he caught. Oh, nice. So the blue's up. starting to get bigger? They're getting huge. Up to about 55 pounds. What? The yeah. blue cats? Look how fat that is. Oh, man. That's but that's somebody blue. commented, and it's a guy that gets bait here. He caught this the same day. Woo! Look at that stud right there, guys. Coffee huge. and Lake. Indian campground office, come here, get your bait, get your tackles, get your needs. He got all kinds of goodies in here. Ago. That's a good one. Riding real too, that had to be fun. The riding. blues are getting up to 55 pounds in Coffee and Lake. That is crazy. I knew they introduced them. What year did they introduce them out of here? About 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Now they're reaching 55 it pounds. Seems like That's the last nice. three or four years are gaining about 10 pounds a year. Woo! 10 pounds a year. All right. Yeah, getting here's a little bit about the lake, too. If you oh, know here we go, right here. 60 foot deep, average of 15. Damn, Indian Grove. There we go. Got a little map inside of the lake. The blues are out of control, and the <laughs> flatheads are biting, baby. It's game time. We're out of here. Stay tuned. Guys, what an awesome conversation. Joe, owner of the Indian Grove Campground, super nice guy, saying the 30 and 40 pound blue cats are being caught as consistent as channel cat out of Coffee and Lake. 50s, 55 pounder caught last week, 72 pound flathead caught earlier in the month. Those are giant, giant fish. Mm -hmm. Trophy class fish. Three pound, 10 ounce crappie picture he showed us of a gentleman catching a three pound, 10 ounce crappie. That is a giant crappie. It's almost four pound crappie. Those are unheard of mm -hmm. in local lakes around our areas. So guys, definitely get out here. Come to Coffee, come stay in Indian campground. Indian Grove, baby. But here we are, we're pulling up. The classic coffee lake, baby. Man, I love this place. I come out here and used to fish all the time as a young, young boy. Old Kenny, too. He'd be out here with his dad all the time. This is where it started. My dad be taking me here all the time. You ain't lying. For big lakes, this is the first big lake I ever used to come yeah. fish right here. Catfish. This is what this is what this is what got me going. This is it. Alright, we got a boat putting in right now, guys. We're gonna pull up over here on the right. We're gonna get this ready? boat ready. And we are gonna drop in. So with that being said, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Yeah, baby. We made it. We made it. guys we're gonna go with the old trusty jackhammer chatterbait got a little strike king trailer on the back of that bad boy tie the old palmar knot and we'll see what happens first spot of the day gonna cover some water 
see what's active see what's biting fish these windy banks we're gonna catch them i have a feeling we're gonna catch some fish today we're just gonna see if they're moving we're gonna see what they want we want to we got to know if, are they moving are they chilling are they cruising are they out deep are they off the points are they off the flats are they sitting on wood are they sitting on rock are they up in the veg what are they doing that's the question what are they doing you know these single pieces of structure like this are really good so we're just gonna keep cruising and moving the good old classic run and gun as i like to call it i'm a big time power fisherman as you can tell from my previous videos i like to power fish man it feels good to get on a big lake and fish don't it kenny yeah <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah new new body of water big city living slime cat rods yeah kenny with the big dog <laughs> first fish of the day baby get him in the boat look at that pretty fish back to the murky depths he goes baby number one go tell him about us so first bass came off the veg came off the veg old kenny said i got him boy i said you got him he said i got him boy he's on there i'm looking for shad that's what we want we want to see little shad pop in one of these blown coves <laughs> yeah look at us moss in here you got to keep it up in here. I see all the piles of moss down below. That's a one good. That's a one good thing. Oh yeah, baby! Got him. Oh, that was pretty. Oh man! Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh man! Look at the action of these slime cat rods, baby. I love when a plan comes together. Guy says I caught one 10 incher all day. I've been out 17 hours. I said, Oh boy! Look at that. Here we go, baby. Another beautiful bass. Number two in the boat. That's how it's done. Look at these pretty fish. Back to the murky depths he goes. He gone. Yeah. Up top, baby. Bam. My turn. Man, I love it when a plan comes together. He bent that ride. Oh, he bent it, boy. He ain't hitting it. Oh, oh no. Oh, Kenny, we in the veg now, boy. We, oh, we in Hydra. Hopefully Larry Hawkins don't play no games, boy. I tell you what, if I was in the Bassmaster Classic, I'd be winning. Yeah. I'd be winning it. Team Slime Cat, baby, representing. Team Slime Cat. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm, that's how we do it right there, boy. Get him up. Oh, yeah. Look at him jump, boy. Look at him jump. Look at him jump, boy. Look at him jump. <laughs> yes, sir. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy, Larry? I'm your daddy. Jackhammer coming out. <laughs> I'm your daddy. I told you about the jackhammer. I got a couple. Uh, who's your daddy, Larry? Who's your daddy? Oh, man. I'm telling you what, guys. You talk about fun. There ain't nothing like coming out here and catching fish, baby. There we go. There's number two two back to the murky depths that's technically that's number three man i love the way these slime cat rods feel guys i cannot freaking express the amount of sensitivity the slime cat rod offers guys if you do not have a bass buster rod this one specifically is the seven one carbon medium heavy fast guys <laughs> the grips the wind grip style grips boy the extended handle, oh my gosh. The pinpoint accuracy. Guys, I'm telling you, it is phenomenal. Look at the way this jackhammer just hunts in the water. It goes left, it goes right, it goes left, it goes right. It don't know what it wants to do, it's just doing stuff. So they're on isolated pieces of structure. See, the question is, now we're catching some aggressively feeding fish. Now we're not catching many as often or consistent. Like, bam, catch another one five cast, bam. Because I guarantee we've passed fish. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. So, bass in this lake, dude? so the question is, is this the wrong color? That's the question. I got blue. Is the bright is the bright the wrong color? Because we've caught we've picked off a few fish. Now we got to fine tune it. We know that they'll hit a fast moving bait. Now we need to find the pattern within the pattern. We know they'll hit a fast moving bait. Find the pattern within the pattern tweak the pattern now is when you start adjusting color now is when you start now now is when you start adjusting color now is when you start 
picking apart the structures that you're coming up on that are singled off since you've caught fish off of them. Now's when you really focus on how to get them to go. This is when you dial it in. It's the dial in period. Time to dial it in, baby. This is what you do. You gotta make these adjustments on the fly, guys. So whenever you come into situations to where you know, hey, guess what? We're catching them on a jackhammer. See what that says? Jackhammers, baby. We know we can catch them on the jackhammer. Boom. Tweak it. Tweak the jackhammer. Tweak it. We got dark water. Green pumpkin blends in really good in dark water. But know what it does? Got a dark silhouette. Dark silhouette is way more natural looking than white and chartreuse or white, unfortunately, but it's just the way it is. Just the way it is. So, go through here. We got our goats, we got our last tech, we got our big baits. So, what do we got here? Baby D bombs. We got that color, we got this color, we got black. So this is what a little trick I know about. If you put a black trailer on the back of a green bait, it can be absolute dynamite. A lot of people try to match the hatch, go consistent, go all same color, but these little subtle differences that I've picked up and learned throughout the years of making 9 million casts in Long Lake, I found that making this little tiny tweak can make the world of difference. Look at that, buddy. There's something magical about this bait right here. Look, let me tell you. Look at that. Oh, oh. Hooked up, baby. We're hooked up. It's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that pretty fish there, guys. Oh, that's pretty. Another beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh, yep. Another good one. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at this beautiful fish right here. Another beautiful fish on the slime cat rods. Man, they are choking that jackhammer. Look at the change. It's all about that change. Find that pattern within the pattern. Thanks, Mike Iconelli. I love you, buddy. Mike Iconelli liked my Twitter post. Very? <laughs> Back to the monkey dip. Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he did. Mike Iaconelli liked my Twitter post. I said, oh man, Mike Iaconelli, you're my best friend. Come on, man. Oh, Mikey. I should have took a picture of that one. That was picture worthy. Hell, that was a pretty bass dark. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one there, boys. <laughs> Oh, Kenny. Oh, baby, I love it. Look at that big old fat. Look at that fat boy. Look at that fat boy. What's your feeling, Larry? <laughs> yes, sir. How you like me, dog? <laughs> back to back. Who that camera, though? That's back to back cast, boy. What color you got? It's mine now. Guys. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that fatty right there. Choke him. Choke him and stroke him. Beautiful, beautiful fish, guys. I love it. Mmm. Yeah. Yump. Oh, what a beautiful fish. All right, guys. Back to the murky depths. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was pretty. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes sir that is how it's done when you tweak it and you find the pattern within the pattern watch this five point splash boom he's back he gone that's three fish pull out of this little pocket let's go for four baby let's go for four i know there's got to be another one back in there We'll just sit right here and catch them all. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't gotta go nowhere. Ain't gotta go nowhere, man. I, 
think even if you if we put a crawl now this is a swim trailer it's faster it makes the bait move quicker but if we put a crawl trailer on the jackie and put more resistance on the back end of it it would be even more deadly because it would slow the bait down you'd have way more hookups way more strikes almost 100 percent positive the way these fish are eaten yeah that little tiny tweak that extra little tiny tweak could even produce more bites and catfish are still oh my god giant 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 oh my gosh dude that's a mega giant that's a mega giant bro that's a big one. that's a big and big one. oh oh my gosh he hit it like a ton of bricks he fooled me he fooled me gas he fooled me <laughs> oh dude that thing hit it like an eight pounder look at that boys Choking it. Number six, baby. Number five or six? Five? Number no, six. 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 Gone. See ya, sucker. All right, guys. When you find areas that are really productive, like this cove right here, one of the number one things you can do is once you get out of it, leave it alone for about 10, 15 minutes and go fish another little two coves like we did over there, you can come back to this area because more than likely, if you can pull four or five, oh, oh my gosh, there was one right there, guys. Dang it. I just didn't stroke him. Should have stroked him. I, I hesitated. Did you see that? Yeah, pump faked him. I did. I pump faked him, bro. I pump faked him. That was him. Oh, you're good. There we go, Kenny. Get you one. Get you, a, get you one up in there. Got him. Good one. There he is, baby. Just like that, guys. If there's fish in there, usually there's more than one. Especially in a cove this time of year. Hey, dark Another beautiful, beautiful fish, guys. Turn them up. That's number eight on the day. We've been out here one hour, we got eight fish. Booyah! Oh. Gotta have the cooler full of gator eights, full of beef jerky. Chilling, maxing, relaxing, kicking back. It's nothing funner than coming out in the boat and catching fish and talking ish with your homie. Down in Kokomo. I need to switch it up to something slow. I'm tired of casting all these times, you know, my arms are gonna explode. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Kenny just smoked a crappie. Hold him up for the can, baby. Get him close. Get him close. Look at that right there, boy. Woo, that is a pretty crappie right there. Oh, yeah. That's Look a at pound it. and a half, ain't it? Look. Oh, wait. Oh, man. Oh, we'll that's never know now. <laughs> Kenny said, that's 17-inch crappie, boy. That's a pound and seven quarters. Nice. I love catching fish. Look at this slime cat rod just putting a bead down on these bass. Made an adjustment, went to saw plastic, stroker claw from six cents, and whack, whack, whack. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That might be a start to something good, guys. Look at that pretty bass. Back to the murky depths he goes. He gone. That's a 10 fish for me. I hit double digits. You got three. We got 13 fish. That's a good day. And a crappie. We've got 12 bass, one crappie. That's a hell of a day. There he is. Oh, I think I figured him out, guys. Let's try that again. Another little pretty layer. Let's see if we can give him the five point dive. Nope, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. Stop it, stop it, stop it, Larry. Larry, you're scaring all the fish away, man. All right, guys, I'm going to pop back off of here. Sorry for the on and off with the camera, but sometimes you can't record nonstop in the blazing sun because the GoPro likes to overheat. Even though I got the Enduro batteries and the brand new GoPro Hero 12, it's just something about that sun mixed with them electronics. There he is. Man, Kenny figured it out. Found a pattern. Man, guys, back, back, I just caught three bass in five minutes on 12 casts. There he goes. Back to the murky. Did a little cruising for the bruising. 
Kenny's ready. We're out here now. We're out here. Back at it. Kenny's got a new spinnerbait tied on. That gold I'm gonna go throw a little buzzy. The old buzz bait action. Little clacker right there. Look at that all black. That's my favorite go-to. And another section of Coffeen Lake. We're just gonna break this area down and do what we can. It's been uh it's been a fun day. I mean, we have caught some fish. We've probably got 14, 15 fish in the boat. You can't complain. Any day you can go out and you can put 14 or 15 fish in the boat. It's a great day. Double digit day. Caught one fish over five. I mean, no complaints, guys. Kenny is looking for the giant. Kenny caught a pound crappie. So, I mean, what can you, I mean, what can you do? You know, you get out here, you do the best job you can. You put together a pattern, try to at least, and you know, you make it happen. And sometimes you get rewarded and sometimes you get you don't but today we've been rewarded so hopefully we can keep this action going for y'all stay tuned got him good one kenny oh my gosh yeah take your time bro that's that long distance don't hit the chair oh yeah stay up on him stay up on him stay up on him oh yeah kenny good job buddy look at that slime cat rod in action Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Ooh, yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Bring him over here. Get him for your boy. Holy moly. He ain't done yet, Kenny. He said, he said, I, I had enough. Uh, let me out. He got me with the hook. Did you see that? Yeah. Beautiful fish, Kenny. Not bad, huh? I love it. Sweat glistening and all, baby. Sweat glistening and all. Look at that pretty golden bass. Back to the murky dubs he goes. Let's get a nice slow slide waves release on that bad boy. Give him the old double hander. Oh man, look at that, guys. Oh, give you a little, give a little love tap on the way. Bam, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That cove paid off. Them little coves. Them long. That was a long distance boy right there. That is the what is that? The six eight. Slime cat bass buster rod spinning reel medium heavy they are stout you can throw some big heavy baits on them too even with just the medium heavy on a spinning rod combo good baits can he throw in a what was that one quarter quarter ounce quarter ounce spinner bait right there oh booyah me and kenny got here it's 95 degree day we got here at noon in the middle of the sun, in the heat. And we put a pattern together quick, which was great. I think the further we go back here, the worse it's gotten. I think we need to go to that big rock bank. Yeah, go hit that rock bank and run this, uh, run some baits parallel with the rocks, right up on them. It's a spill, danger spillway. Oh man, you know it's gotta be fish stacked right up on that. Can I cast in there? Is it deep? Oh, it's deep. Is it? There's big fish in there, bro. I'm a big flatty in there. Oh, you know there is this a giant concrete wall. Like if there's one place I want to cast a live bait just for fun, this would probably be it. Oh my gosh, dude, I just had one. That's like a creek that runs off from here. East Fork Shoal Creek. That's what this connects to. It goes like that way. Got it? Yeah. There it is, guys, in the buoys. In the buoys. Sick, guys. Bam. Number 16. Oh, there he is. Right there. Oh, guys, what is going on? Oh, man, that's a lot of fun. And I just can't live without you. Back to the murky depths. <laughs> he didn't like that, did he? No, he's like, man, quit putting me on camera, bro. There he is. Dude. Got him. Another one, guys. Unbelievable. The sensitivity of the Bass Buster rod on long distance Texas rigs is legit. 20 fish in the boat, baby. 20 fish in the boat. It's official. 
one full pack of Guggen baits gone. It's like a big hydrilla patch. Yeah. We're just skimming across the top. Fish are coming out in smoke. Oh, there he is. Hammered. Biggin. Nope, not a biggin. It's still hammered. Dude, we found them honey hole, Kenny. Holy moly, guys. This is nonstop action. Nonstop bassin', baby. This is how the Humphrey Lear Hawkins does it. No electronics, no live scope. Good old classic. Go out, put your knowledge to the test. That's how we do it on the Humphrey Lear Hawkins. Stacked in here. Tanker. Take your time. Oh, Kenny. Oh, my God. That was huge, bro. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's get him again. Oh, my gosh. Guys. These fish are in here and they are thick. There's some tanks in here. You needed that one. That was your PB. Oh my gosh, bro. What is going on right now? Dude, I cannot believe how big that bass was. That bass could have been every bit of six, seven pounds. It was huge. Did you see it? No. You didn't see it? No. Oh man, I'm just glad you didn't see him come out of the water, bro. You've been heartbroken. That was giant. Take your time. Oh, Kenny. Guys, we just absolutely wrecked in that area. We probably caught seven bass, six bass. Kenny lost the biggest bass of the day. Big old giant six, seven pounder. He's devastated in the back seat, back chair. He just... He's eating them up. But man, what a beautiful, beautiful fish. What a beautiful lake. Turn it left. Other way. That's right. Kenny. Oh, I didn't mean that. Your tips. <laughs> Guys, what an adventure. Holy moly. 100 degree day out here. Came out here. Haven't fished this lake in years from a boat. Me and Kenny put the smack down on him. We probably caught over 20 fish easily. Kenny missed a six, seven pounder. It's just uh -oh. devastating. New PB gone. A new PB gone, man. But what an absolute fun day, guys. I couldn't ask for a better day of fishing. Slime Cat Rod, shout out the Bass Buster series, man. I'm telling you what. All of them. Promo code is down right about here. Promo code. And definitely check out the link. We'll have everything for you guys in the description. But with that being said, guys, we're gone. We're, we done. We tired. We tore him up. Larry, Larry came to play. We caught one over five. We'll take it, baby. Peace.